Yeah. All right. No, we're good. <clears throat> all right. We got a fun one today. Mega Man versus. In the back, Blue versus versus Olimar. Blue versus Elf. I think. No, that's Olimar. We all are on deck. Yes, we are. <clears throat> so, what do you know about this matchup? Uh, I know. Me I know the Metal Blade is uh, pretty very pivotal because uh, it actually can eat through most of the Pikmin stuff and then try to hit Olimar as well. Uh -oh. So he's going to be relying on that. Morpheus is someone that relies on Metal Blade a lot anyway, so it should be somewhat within his comfort zone. I wonder what. I wonder how Morpheus will do if Pickpocket opted to just grab the Metal Blade and just chuck Run Pikmin. and do side. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not to say that at all that uh, it's in like Mega Man's favor at all just because of that, but I know that it's like Mega Man's, one of Mega Man's main tools in this matchup. Got you. Because uh, pellets don't always do the greatest with uh, the things flying around blocking most of it. So, uh, yeah, Leaf Shield's actually not bad either for that same reason. It just kind of goes through everything. Wow. All right, and Pickpocket doing a great job at the beginning of the game, trying to get that down to the two frame and not just going to mistime it just a bit. Yeah, it's always also scary uh, being on the edge against the Omar. You know, uh, just any lingering hitboxes and forward smash ups can always uh, end your stock, especially at 100. Mm -hmm. And Morpheus, I like this. Morpheus, even though he's down, he's playing it very, very slow, very safe. He understands that. Next hit will probably be his stock, so let's make the most of it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to take a pretty serious edge guard at this point to come back, at least on this stock. I think at this point he's just trying to uh, tick away as much as he can. Ooh, yeah, see, first time he does pellets, gets hit for it. It's not so, so great here. Ooh, that could have been bad for more. If he missed time that just a bit, he could have gotten stage spike by accident. Mm -hmm. Avoids that forward or narrowly fast falling away. See what we're going to get. Gets the uh, weak arm there. Or the strong arm. There we go. Not going to do it. And now... Close to it. Oh, I like that the Z dropped to catch the peak Pikmin while they were coming back to stage, killing the purple Pikmin, the big Bertha. Okay, we're getting, we're getting back into the uh, realm of possibilities here. 64%. I mean, that's about like one hit and an up tilt away. But you shouldn't be always going for that. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing you have to look out for is Olimar. I mean, Mor Morpheus gotten really proficient at just, if he knows he got the power shield, he's saying up tilt, baby. Yeah, and uh, Pickpocket's pretty prevy to just kind of hang back and not. Try not to leave himself too open here for any close quarter combat like that. Wants to end this stock, though, swinging these purples around. Mm -hmm. All right. Nair doing a great job getting rid of the Pikmin. And pretty soon we're going to be coming up on the halfway point of the match. There we go. First stock has been lost. Falling Nair into down smash. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty <laughs> – that's as effective as it gets. Oh, the, he tried to do the stare down just for the – bait the, the rollout, but – Pickpocket just going to grab the face. Mm -hmm. And right now Pickpocket is kind of running away with this game. Ooh, Ooh. trying to get – that must have been a miss -input. I want to say forward, like walk up, you know, jab. Yeah, because I know he like reeled back in his seat a bit with his face. Like, yeah, he didn't want to do that. This is uh, slowly starting to run away here. Yeah, I mean, Mega Man – I think Mega Man's a great character, but when he's at such a deficit, it's really difficult for him to bring these deficits back. Because he's only ever doing a couple of percent at a time. Uh, hopefully he gets good edge guards like that, though. Great job for Morpheus. 78%, not the worst uh, case to be in. It's all about how these next couple of uh, situations unfold. Oh, and, oh, that almost was it. Yeah, there he wanted to get a turnaround grab, but like a lot of people, well, like turnaround grabs are a little hard for a lot of people, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and once again, pickpocket going back to that Hey, I'm just going to throw Pikmin at you. I'm going to harass you from afar. I don't need to. Yeah, he's got a approach. whole stage to make Mega Man come in. And that's not something Mega Man's usually have to do. Right. You know, like, they like playing the mid-range game, not the let me close my quarters. And when he does have to do it, he relies on pellets, which kind of all of uh, Pikmin get in the way of sometimes. So it's actually going to be a little rough once it gets to this point in the set or in the match. Mm -hmm. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, Pickpocket has no reason to do anything but that, I guess. Yeah. Got to take his, up, his uh, you know, platform pressure. He wasn't trying to overextend past it too much. Wasn't trying to end it. Those are normal up airs. You know, they happen. They come out. All right. I mean, I'm seeing this. Morph wasn't really having that great of a time. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a cloud switch, though I don't know how, how prepared his cloud is for this matchup. But I don't think he's going to go for it. When they go back to the character uh, level select screen, you're like, all right, well, they're locked in forever. There's no going back. There's no B button. I, w I mean, that's more or less what I... What I think sometimes. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Okay, so a normal day, I'd say okay, FD for Mega Man for the win. Well, listen, uh, let's talk about like the, uh, the, the initial things that we need to see Morpheus change. We saw a few like 
unnecessary smash attacks back to back. Yes. Where I think he was getting either a little antsy with his inputs or just a little antsy with what he wanted. Uh, so if he can do a little bit better of not letting uh, Pickpocket run away with a you know 50% combo at the very beginning, should be a little bit better off. All right. I like. I mean, I don't mind the stage. I don't mind the stage pick for um, because he can kind of stay afar from pickpocket, but I wouldn't want to deal with a stage where I'm forced to deal with Pikmin. Uh, at a horizontal yeah. like plat uh, platform, like just straight up face to face, it's not going to be too great. But I, I don't know because he's doing he's doing a lot better than the last game. He actually only a slight deficit this time, and that those leave that leave shield doing a lot of damage. Yeah, he's trying to pick and choose his opportunities, understanding that if he's, like, you know, blocking something, but if the guy's behind him, it's not going to be the easiest to punish. So he's just kind of jumping out of situations, trying to pick and choose exactly when he thinks he has a punish. All right, I like that. Staying at, a, staying at that mid-range is harassing the pellets, but unfortunately that down smash is going to send him off off stage. And here I wonder comes if that would have been an up air if that would have killed Maybe. instead of a forward air. I think it would have hit the same spot. Maybe. This time in the down smash, just a little bit. Yeah, they're both like, ex just like extremely fighting for like this specific exchange. Like whatever's gonna happen over the next. Uh, but that's gonna be he. <laughs> wow, Mega Man is thick. Yes, he is. Super fighting robot boy, baby. Super fighting robot. That was when he got that uh, cat. No, capsule upgrades are an X. Gotcha. Never mind. Well, they, he gets upgrades at all in general just for, like, body armor and stuff. That, that was that one. Yep. In the back, you're too slow. Oh, oh, the back throw, the cross-up. Got him. Uh, caught him with a forward smash uh, lag right there. All right. And he, he can't sit tight just yet. Right now, Pickpocket's going to keep on harassing. That fair, not going to kill, actually. But I'm pretty sure. I feel like it was any closer to the edge of the stage it would have done it. All right, and now, now Pickpocket is just looking for this grab. So Morbius has to play so careful. Like, literally every aerial. That's why he's kind of jumping and, and pulling back so often, because any aerial is going to send him off. Not going to get the kill on that. That's severely unfortunate. Ooh. Just the walk up. A lesser Mega Man like I would have down tilted out of that and gotten blocked. Oh, I like that. The leaf shield is kind of preventing, preventing any form of grab from Pickpocket. So Morph is playing this really, really smart, honestly. Yeah, we see Pickpocket getting a little hungry here for the kill, as anyone would at 202. Especially when the set is so close. Are right, we going to see a spike and not die? Maybe. Oh, with the chase down. Okay, he's keeping distance very well. He's not doing any unnecessary confrontations. If he can get away, he's getting away. All right, leaf shield. And right now, Pickpocket's having such a hard time getting past Morph. Morph is just playing like a, good, like a wall, and honestly, it's doing wonders. Oh, oh, that's it. That closes it out. 51%, all that work, only 51%. It's not the hugest, uh, hugest, biggest lead. That was, that was good by Pickpocket, just realizing, oh, he's jumping. He must be, it looked like Morpheus was jumping at a specific tempo, and he just said, I'm going to call it out now. Got gotcha. you. Deficits against Ma Olimar, however, are, I mean, when Olimar's in a deficit, it's not really a deficit, I want to say. Well, I mean, he still has to keep in mind, he has two minutes on the clock, so, you know, a 90, 70, 60% lead or so, you know, it's enough if you can keep running away with it the way you have and not right there. He didn't have to go in and fall, and he's trying to, like, make something happen, which is why he's eating this percent right here. Yes. If he had con continued with the game plan of just hanging back, uh, you know, this would have been a much larger deficit at this point. But let's see, he's going to get, it's going to secure the kill. Great, Ooh. great backer. I like that a lot. <laughs> Already scared. He, it was kind of, it was like a big brain Edgar in a way. Only because, big brain. only because he used the Z big drop. Big brain level two. Big brain level two. He used the Z drop to scare Pickpocket into air dodging immediately. Then, then just said, "Okay, you can air dodge now. Punish with the back air." So, where do you think they're gonna go? Uh, let's feel some battle for town and city. Of course. Town and city. Okay. Clearly. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right, Morph just taken to the platforms. Both players very content with just playing the patient game. 
They continue to play the most aggressive game of all time? No. Oh, oh my gosh. When they're both trying to out-adapt each other so much, they play aggressive. <laughs> all right, more uh, uh, pickpockets doing a lot more retreating aerials. Now I guess I grab and tacking on a little bit percent. Oh, gets the grab. Yeah, a lot of this early, uh, you know, advantage state is just about, like, throwing them up a little bit and then, like, just putting something under where they're landing. They're not getting a lot of huge damage because Olimar and Mega Man, but they're getting at least some pellets. At least uh, Olimar is able to catch landings with the side Bs. So it was able to uh, continuously, you know, get a little bit of extra damage from every conversion. Right, gets a throw. Goes over back throw. I would, um, does Mega Man not have any combos at this percent? Yeah, uh, you got down throw, but like down throw would be like maybe if they di wrong and you read an air dodge or read the fact that they won't air dodge. Gotcha. It, it's nothing uh, direct. All right, once again, both players playing very slow. Pickpocket with a slight, with a slight lead. That can change any minute, and we can't forget that Olimar has. Is very light and can die very early, and uh, that up to probably would have killed. That's like one of the first grabs we've seen from uh, Pickpocket. I feel like I feel like we're not seeing a lot of grabs. I don't know if he's getting like too many opportunities or just bo not bothering as much. I mean, I feel like Pickpocket only really delegates grab to when he catches the landing because as oh, you know, fishing for that back air, fishing for that back air. There it is. Uh, there it ah. is. Yeah, there you go. Amazing. And one hundred three. And 103 this time. I mean, Morph has done an amazing, an amazing adoption over the over these past couple games. Yeah, let's see if he's able to make a repeat. The situation not going to make the repeat of the last game. Clean, only 13% on the board. Anyone's game still. He gets a, he gets the metal blade into down throw back air, and that's already 31%. If he can keep this keep up this pressure, Morph is I mean, Pickpocket is going to have a hard time bringing it back. All good spot, good read on the spot dodge. I like that a lot. Yeah, uh, one thing Amorphous has turned up definitely is the edge pressure in this set. Uh, from game one to games two and three, like every time he's gotten him off stage, it's making him uh, work really hard just to get back on and regain the footing. It's usually about 20 to 30 percent per edge situation. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. Sleeping at the wheel a little bit would have gotten the stock. Oh, I like that setup from Pickpocket. He threw the purple Pikmin. And he caught the he caught the tech in place with a with the grab. Don't fish for it, Morpheus. Ooh, that up th up there not gonna kill. Yeah, no. Good. Morpheus not gonna give him the air dodge he wants. Is this oh, really oh, close? Oh, 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 that was Zelda, oh. that was Zelda down smash angle, baby. That was awful. Oh gosh, this is so scary for everyone this is intense. involved. Uh, oh nope. no! Nope, nope, nope. Crash bomb in play. What are we gonna see? Oh. Nothing. Oh, Ooh, it, will that, that kill? No, not just yet. Clean DI, good reaction from Pickpocket. Next situation on board. That was a clean dip. That was an amazing recovery, and Morph had the had the grab or the up tilt, but he kind oh, of panicked. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, Morph kind of fishing for this back air now. They're both fishing for literally anything. Oh no. Morpheus off stage. Oh, that was a brave leaf shield. Oh, that was a brave leaf shield. <laughs> prevented the what a brave little leaf shield. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Pickpocket barely missing the spacing for that F smash. Rogue forward air. Oh, up back throw? throw? Oh. I would have opted for the up throw. Yeah. I mean, it would have been a good DI mix-up because... Uh, Pickpocket was DIing out. The uh, world will never know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is dangerous. Now Pickpocket wants to grab. He has that blue Pikmin on deck. He knows he'll get the kill. Any aerial even. Yep. Oh, my gosh. This is so intense. Oh, up, up, throw. up, up. Boom. Morpheus taking the set 2-1. I have to play Pickpocket on that, don't I? Pickpocket. No, you, you actually have to 